Hi guys, welcome to Art Recycled. Today we are going to make a robot that is based off of STEM curriculum. This robot I do with my second graders at Deerwood Elementary. Um, they do it pretty much on their own. The only thing that I cut for them parents ahead of time is this background piece, which is done out of a cereal box. And parents, you may have to cut the tops of um, Amazon boxes so that they have this cardboard that they can cut out to build for their robot. But other than that, my second graders do this pretty independently. And this is a great way to use up old recyclables around the house and to use up all that extra cardboard that you're getting from Amazon probably at this time. So I'm going to start with my blank sheet of cardboard. And if you want, you if you don't have um, a lot of recyclables or mechanical pieces to use for this, you can do this whole thing with tape and cardboard and just build up your layers of cardboard. You do not have to use all those recycled and mechanical items if you don't have them. This project does work best with white glue, but again, you don't need that white glue. You could just use tape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is out of my cardboard, I'm going to cut pieces for arms, legs, head, things like that. And I do the head and the arms and the legs first because I kind of always like to have the body floating off of these pieces. So I'm going to take, I cut a trapezoid out of the cardboard for my head. I'm gonna glue that down. I'm gonna glue my arms down. And it does kind of help to lay this out <clears throat> a little bit first. You're gonna find that glue may squish out. If it squishes out, that's okay. The glue will dry clear. And then I'm going to have my legs here. And I'm gonna lay my body down. My body is gonna be a CD actually. <clears throat> and I'm gonna lay this down just to make sure that my legs aren't too long. I don't think they are. So there we go. Tuck them under and he's gonna have three legs just like my other robot. And then after I have the basic body <clears throat> and his head down, then I'm gonna glue this down. And I tend to put the glue for the body on top of the arms and legs and the head, um, just like that. And again, if it, if it squishes out, it doesn't bother me too much. You know, it is gonna dry clear eventually and it'll be fine, all right? So then the next part I'm going to do is, I'm gonna show you a different one that I did. This one, I just cut out more pieces of cardboard and I started to build them up. And you could cut out cardboard pieces for the eyes and the nose if you want. But all that being said, if you want this colored, I would let the glue dry and then color it before you add any of your mechanical pieces like bottle caps. Um, paper clips, washers, buttons, things like that. Only because if this glue is wet and you're coloring it with your colored markers, you're gonna ruin your colored markers and then they won't work anymore because they have glue on them. If you use tape, it's not a big deal and you could probably just color it right away. Okay, this one, I'm not going to color, but I just wanted to show you the other one just so that you could see. You could color it if you wanted to. Just wait till the glue is dry. All right, so now <clears throat> I'm gonna start to build up. Now, one cool thing you can do, I always like to take cardboard and I always like to peel one side of the paper away because it kind of shows you more texture and it just gives the robot kind of a more interesting look. And I think that's a little too big, so I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. And I'm gonna layer this piece on a stomach like that. And then I'm gonna use some other pieces of cardboard just to create more layers. So maybe I want them to have eyebrows. This is what I cut off of the legs to make them shorter. I'm gonna cut a couple pieces there, give them some eyebrows. And maybe I'll build up this. I have this extra piece that I just cut off of that. Maybe I'll lay that on this leg. So as you can see, now I'm starting to build up to make this more sculptural. So now I'm gonna go to my recycled pieces. I think that's enough cardboard. And they're all in here and I have, I mean, tons of different things. Rocks, buttons, straws, lint from the lint trap, cotton balls, um, mechanical pieces that I found. And again, if you're using these mechanical pieces, kids, you need to ask your parents. I wouldn't go into their garage and just take 
washers and things like that, you should definitely ask for that. The bottle caps from the recycling, things like that, um, you could probably just go get. These were tubes of uh, paper, toilet paper tubes that I just kind of cut up. I kind of like that as a sculptural piece, so I'm gonna lay that down on his leg here. And stick, get that stuck, stick that in. All right, what else do I have? I want him to look like he runs on wheels, so I'm gonna add some bottle caps. All right, this I kind of love. This was the wax from those cheeses that you can get at the grocery store, and I washed the inside out. So I'm gonna take the wax and just kind of condense it and curve it into a mouth. I'm gonna put it here. Get it stuck. And maybe for his nose, I will add a button. Whoop. All right. In his hands, maybe I'm gonna put on some paper clips. And so, again, when I do this project with my second graders, sometimes they get concerned that the glue is squishing out and I just tell them not to worry about that. Again, it's gonna dry clear. I really love this piece. I'm gonna take this and glue this onto the middle. And I always tell my kids, you know, almost anything will stick with this white glue eventually if it's not too heavy. So you can use um, this white glue with metal pieces. It will work just fine. I really love this washer. I'm gonna put that on. And I love these straw pieces too. Maybe I'll add some straw pieces. Um, I cut up Q-tips one time and used Q-tips too for this project because I wanted my robot to look like he was holding a wand. And that looks really cool. Um, pop tabs are great too. If you drink pop in your house or some type of carbonated beverage, these work really great as mechanical pieces. So in other words, be creative. Look at your recycle bin and see what you've got or see what you've got around the house that you maybe wouldn't mind putting in this. I kind of like this little idea for hair or as a hat. As you saw in my other robot, what I used was cotton balls and I just stuck the glue onto my project and then just kind of tore the cotton balls part. So there is my finished robot, easy peasy. Um, in the classroom, I do take silver paint, if you have it, and I know most of you do not, silver or gold temper paint, we take a big brush, and after all of this is dry, and I would let it dry for at least 24 hours if you've added these mechanical pieces, we paint this entire thing silver or gold, and then it really does look really mechanical, and it looks really, really cool. So I hope you like this project. Have fun. Keep doing art.